Hi, my name is Jenny Godley. I want to tell you a story about how I became a political prostitute. I know that sounds weird, but it's absolutely true. Back in 1989, um, I owned a building in a pub in the east end of Glasgow called Craig Nestock Mansions. It's a beautiful old 1800s, 1890 the building was built. It's a pub with three fl uh, floors above it and nine houses. And I rented out each room, each bed, to homeless people and young guys who were effectively not suitable for social housing, so I became a slum landlord, as they like to call me. But I lived there with my daughter Ashley and my husband. And um, the building stood on its own land, and all the land round about it was derelict. So the Labour Council, who were in charge of the Glasgow District Council at the time, decided to pull the building down. And we thought, no, fuck, no, you can't, because you're going to make a lot of people homeless. And they were just going to build really crap housing on it, like Barrett housing, like they did across the road. So at the time, the Tory government was in power of the country, but not Scotland. So what we decided to do was, is every single person in the pub and in the building would become a Tory. Now, bear in mind, this is the East End of Glasgow. If you don't get a Tory stronghold ever, like now, you don't get it. So we recruited about 30, 40 young people and all people into the Tory party. And it became a phenomenon they'd never heard the likes of. So much so that there was no Tory party in the East End of Glasgow because they don't belong there. They have dresses and they, they make cakes and the men beat each other with slippers. That doesn't happen in the East End of Glasgow. So we had to go to the other end of Glasgow to the south side to this place, I can't remember the name of it, to join their Conservative Association. All the guys in the pub and all the young guys who lived there like, Janie, I'd rather be a paedophile than be a Tory. This was the 80s. But we said, look, just do it. So we did it. And the Tory party became alerted that there was a Conservative stronghold in the East End of Glasgow. So I got invited to meet Margaret Thatcher at the Perth Tory Conference, which I wasn't quite prepared for because I'm not a Tory. So, a, I didn't have the outfit, so I had to get a couple of prostitutes who were also really good shoplifters, get me clothes. So they did, they stole beautiful outfits, dresses, they dressed me up in the pub. It was a bit like Pretty Women, but without me being the hooker. And I went to the Perth Tory conference and I got to meet Margaret Thatcher because she'd never met anyone who had recruited that many conservatives to the East End of Glasgow. The whole pub was like, what, what else can we do? So she said to me, you should be a politician. And I said, no, I want people to like me. Um, I never became a politician. So the Glasgow District Council, in the last ditch attempt to get the building pulled down, they sent a guy called Nick Citerius, I still remember his name. He came to the pub and he did a core test of the pub. So they were going to prove that the building in the pub, which was all the one erection, I like that word, um, was unstable. So he dug a core, he pulled it out, and of course it proved that the building was one of the most strongest and safe buildings in the whole of Glasgow that he'd ever core tested, so they couldn't pull me down. So then eventually the Tory party contact us and say, your building is safe, it will never be pulled down, because we knew that Labour Council in Glasgow would rip it down, they were corrupt. Tories are incredibly corrupt, but they like a good stronghold. In, in, in the worst part of Glasgow. So the building gets saved and we didn't have to be Tories anymore. And everybody threw a party and we got funding to keep the building up. Now, 1994, I leave the building because we get caught with guns and weapons in my father-in-law's house. I married into a gangster family. It's a whole different story. Um, I just thought they were organized. Turns out they were crooks. And um, I left the building and I missed the building and it was quite a wrench to be taken away from something that I love. My daughter was born there, I was married there, I owned the pub there, I formed a lot of friendships there, um, I became a Tory there, um, and I thought that would be the end of the story, but it wasn't, because three years ago, the land that we saved from the Labour Council became social housing for vulnerable um, drug addicts, mostly women, and vulnerable children, and I had been a vulnerable child as a child. So it became full circle and they managed to save the building. And I did a painting called Saint Thenew. Saint Thenew was Saint Mungo's mother. 
she was drowned, my mother was murdered and drowned, so it was a homage to the women who were drowned. You would think that wouldn't be a homage, but it is to me. Um, and I drew a beautiful painting of St. Thenew, and the housing is called St. Thenew, and two years ago, I went back to the building for the first time in 20 years, and I opened the building up next door, all the flats round about it, and I became their patron, and my painting of my dead, murdered mother, slash St. Thenew hangs on the wall and the new housing is there and I was the first person to cut the ribbon and open it. So sometimes being a Tory doesn't make you a cunt.